Hi, this is Santiago from Opsiv. In this video, we will have a look at the demo scene for the Ultimate Inventory system. First of all, if you haven't done so yet, make sure to install TextMesh Pro and install the inputs. To install the inputs, go to Tools, Opsiv, Ultimate Inventory System, Main Manager. Go under the Setup tab and add the inputs. Normally, you should have been prompted to install the inputs as soon as you install the package. To find the demo scene, you'll go to Opsiv, Ultimate Inventory System, Demo. You'll find it here. Press play to start the demo scene. If the aspect ratio doesn't look correct, make sure that under the aspect you have HD 1920 by 1080. Otherwise, your UI might look like this. In this demo scene, you'll see that you can open or pick up some items, open the inventory system, or the inventory menu, sorry. You can move around some items. You can equip them by drag and drop. You can click on an item to equip. You can assign to the hotbar, etc. You'll also find that you have an item shape grid. An item shape grid is an item uh, grid which allows you to have different shapes for all your items. And then you can organize them as you wish. Usually in most games, you'd either have a simple grid or an item shape grid, not the, both at the same time, but the ultimate inventory system allows you to have both. You can also save and load your inventory state and here in the demo scene we'll just move around and go to each menu in this menu this is a storage you can move around some items in the storage and in your inventory you have different tabs you have chests that you can open and take items from you have a shop here we are, you can buy some items or sell items. You can pick up some currency. Here you have an upgrade menu where you can upgrade your items. So this is specific to the demo scene. You won't find it uh, in another place. It has to be made custom for the character controller that you're using. In the demo scene, we've built our own custom character controller, which is very simple. And you can check out the code to see how this was done. You have also a crafting menu where you can combine some items to create new ones. So here I can create multiple big potions from smaller potions. You can also use items to open doors. For example, this door won't open until you have the right item can pick up a key which allows you to unlock this chest which has another key which allows you to open the gate on this side you have some enemies that you can defeat but to do this we'll have to equip some armor and some weapons when you kill an enemy it'll drop some items that you can pick up and you can have a look at the rest of the demo on your own. So this showcases quite a few features from the, the Ultimate Inventory System package. Uh, you can just check out in the inspector all the components and how it's been set up. For feature specific uh, things, you can go to the feature demo and this will have very tiny demos on specific features and have some instructions on how it was set up and how it works. For example, this demo is a minimalist inventory grid. It basically has the minimum amount of uh, components you need to have an inventory grid and your items that are displayed in it. So I'll press play. And here you'll see that I have a, an inventory grid. I can't do anything with it because it's the minimalist approach. 
uh, but I can add items. For example, I add a wood item. And as I press adjust, I can add. And if I press minus one, then it will remove the item. There you go. Here you have some instructions and you can check out in the inspector all the values to see how it was set up. You'll find a few feature scenes, for example, for item restrictions, once you want to limit how big your inventory grid is, uh, you can add some dynamic inventory size, uh, some item shape grid that we saw before, how to set up your shop, the crafting, floating panels, etc. You even have a scene where you have some code to how to set up your stats for your character, your own custom character. And if you go in the folder that comes with the scene, you'll find a script which you can open and we'll have all commented functions with how to access your attributes, how to set them, etc. So let me show you an example. Here you have handle the item added, which is something that listens to a function or to an event, sorry. And then you can see how you can get the values you want from it. This is all commented and you can read through it and learn from it. I hope you learned something from this video and it was useful and I'll see you the next time. Bye.